Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to be taking a look at a recent uh, custom water-cooled build that I did. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to do um, any sort of build log uh, like I had done with one of my previous builds due to time constraints, but um, now that it is finished, I did want to kind of run through the whole thing. Uh, there was a lot of uh, work that went into this, and I, I do wish I could have uh, shown you guys more of the steps along the way. Uh, there was a lot of customization here, but um, you know, I just I didn't have time to do it. So hopefully, I can I can kind of give you guys a good idea of what's going on here. Um, you know, now that it's finished. But uh, before I dive into this, uh, the very first thing I have to say is that. Um, and I don't really know how this is going to show up once it processes, but the camera cannot seem to pick up the color. Uh, this is not blue. That's the way it looks on the camera. This is very much a purple. Um, you guys may have to check out some of the photos if you're um, curious what this actually looks like, unless uh, it uploads and it looks fine. But um, right now what I'm seeing on the viewfinder of this camera is blue. So. Um, anyway, uh, the second thing I wanted to say is, um, you know, uh, well, I should say I want to kind of give a shout out to Greg from uh, Salazar Studio. He was in town recently and he uh, did a really cool video showcasing uh, my builds. Um, perhaps some of you stumbled on my channel from that. Uh, welcome and I really appreciate the support from you guys. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to continue to be able to bring you guys some interesting content, uh, especially if you're into uh, these sort of custom builds and water cooling. Uh, very much open to any sort of suggestions, so if there's anything you guys are looking to see or any sort of videos you'd like me to try and make, um, you know, I'll do my best to do that. I'm, I'm going to continue to try and improve uh, the quality of my videos. Hopefully in the near future I'll be spending a little bit more time trying to edit these and, and produce them a little bit better. But um, for the time being, I, I don't really have a whole lot of time, so I'm just trying to uh, create as much content I can for you guys and get some information out there, um, and, and hopefully the videos will continue to improve. But um, yeah, so anyway, um, you know, let's kind of dive into it here, and I guess the very first thing I'll, I'll have to say here is the case that this is in, if you're wondering, is a Corsair Air 240. Uh, it's actually a micro ATX case, um, and obviously one of the unique features of this case is it does allow you to build an inverted system because the top uh, and bottom panels are identical. Well, they're, they're reversed, but they're identical. Um, the little rubber pad feet um, they're not attached to the case. You, you stick them on so you can put it any way you want. Actually, you can flip the case sideways and, and even use it horizontally if you wanted to. Um, so naturally, trying to do something different here, uh, I wanted to go ahead and do it in the uh, inverted orientation uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it's just something different. Um, I'm, I've yet to do a inverted build, so um, it was fun doing something different. Uh, the other thing that works out well is that this is my son's PC and where it is sitting on his desk is actually on the left side. So um, yeah, it works out really well um, for both reasons. So uh, I'll run through the sort of main components. Um, I'll, I'll try to list them down in the description as well, but I'm sure people are going to ask. Uh, it's a Z170, uh, it's a gigabyte uh, Z170 and Wi-Fi board, 6700K, uh, 16 gigs of Dominator Platinum. Uh, GTX 1070, um, I've got a Black Ice um, White Edition 30mm uh, thick 240mm radiator. I've got the White Edition of the EK Vardar fans, um, you know, White EK Supremacy uh, Evo block, all bits power, uh, Black Sparkle fittings all throughout. Well, I take that back. You'll see on the back side I do have EK fittings uh, when I switch to soft tubing back there. Um, but in front, what you see is all bits power. Um, all custom sleeving is done by me. Um, and then there's um, a good amount of sort of custom panels in here that I've made from uh, three millimeter thick acrylic and vinyl and, you know, uh, just some different mods. So uh, the, the look and feel I was going for 
uh, with this particular build was uh, I wanted to go for a very clean build uh, with white being the primary backdrop. Um, so I tried to use as many white components as I could, the white CPU block, white radiator, white fans, and then the white acrylic panels that I put in here uh, to create the sort of white interior that you wouldn't normally get in this case. Normally it would be black um, is the way it would come stock with the, the painted metal on the inside. Now uh, the one feature that I probably spent the most time on uh, and took the uh, longest amount of planning is the mid plate that I created. Um, it's, uh, again, it's just white acrylic, but um, I have the, the pass-through fittings in various different spots here um, so that you could sort of get this look where all of the water cooling tubing is terminating into the middle of the case um, and for really all intent and purposes for what you see it, it it's effectively disappearing um, and then I made sure to cut my holes that the cables fit into to essentially exactly fit um, the cabling all of this this cabling that I, I had to pull through first and then push my pins into the connectors um, because the tolerance was so tight um, this stuff wouldn't wouldn't fit um, with the connectors attached so uh, a little bit of a pain but that's just part of what you get when you're you're going for these um, specific sort of um, you know uh, detailed looks so um, I've I believe well aside from the USB 3.0 header is not a whole lot you can do about that, but uh, every single cable has been custom sleeved. Um, I did eliminate some of the front panel headers because I just don't need them, and for the sake of cleanliness, uh, I just didn't really feel like they were necessary. Um, this, these particular bins here, I was trying to achieve a consistent and parallel um, runs and spacing. I don't know how well. It's kind of tough to get the right angles on camera, but um, all of these bends are pretty much exactly parallel. I'm sure they're not perfect if you got out a ruler, but um, to the naked eye um, and even up close, um, it took it, it was really nice. I wish I would have used acrylic in this build. Um, I had already started with PETG. -E hate saying that word um, so I just kind of stuck with it and one of the things I've I don't know if I've mentioned this in any of my previous videos but um, PETG tends to want to like spring back on itself um, when you're doing these bends so especially when you get multiple bends like this it's really difficult to um, get it to hold multiple right angles without wanting to spread out um, I don't run into that issue with acrylic. It really holds its shape well, but um, yeah, that's another reason that I prefer acrylic over PETG. I did this bend probably three times, and I really felt like I had all of my runs and measurements correct, but I could not get it to run... Um, at the angles I wanted it to in all directions, which is why I ended up going with this fitting here, because that allowed me to kind of break up the the run um, and eliminate a bit of the um, springiness in the tubing down here. And uh, overall, um, that's what allowed me to get everything to turn out uh, the way I wanted to. This kind of bothers me a little bit in here, um, this tight bend, um, but I didn't have a ton of space to work with and I didn't want the tubing to push too far up against um, this little panel here that I had made because I wanted it to be visible. So um, that I just, you know, I learned to, to live with it, but uh, it does bug me a little bit. Um, obviously I'm a little bit of a perfectionist here, but um, yeah, uh, you know, aside from that, um, some of these little pieces that I made here, guys, this is just acrylic. Um, I cut it. I do have a Dremel Moto saw, so I'm able to do some of the stuff like this. Um, this isn't extremely intricate, but um, just a simple little detail like that um, sort of uh, makes it um, 
I don't know, makes it look more custom than just if you were snapping rectangular pieces off of acrylic. Uh, it's just skinned in a carbon fiber vinyl. Um, that's, you know, I put that in the front here, down the side, and then it's actually on the side. I, I built a little brace here to prevent um, GPU sag uh, to make sure that we keep a nice, even horizontal run on the uh, graphics card. As far as filling the loop, um, now I do that with the graphics card removed and then I'm able to access this drain port or this this fill valve, not valve, but fill port here in the uh, reservoir. Um, now of course this top piece slides off and there's a big hole right up here so it's real easy for me to get in and fill the reservoir. Um, and then yeah, basically, um, you know, uh, I'll, sh I'll spin this around so you can see what's happening in the back because I know it's a little bit confusing when you only see the front here. Um, but as I'm sure you can imagine, all of that tubing has to connect to one another somewhere. But um, yeah, I guess that pretty much does it for the front here. I don't know what else I could possibly say other than maybe giving you guys couple more angles here to catch a glimpse of some of what's going on this this bend up in here and it's kind of tough to see but that was that was a challenge but I got it to work um, took me a couple tries a couple different actually probably three or four bends um, ended up having to go with a 45 degree rotary fitting up there um, to get that to work but uh, yeah um, gosh, I wish this color was showing up right. Alright, so I'm going to do the noisy spin around here that hopefully I become famous for until I get my Lazy Susan built. Um, I went ahead and just used some vinyl and created these sort of stripes on the case. Again, I am seeing blue, but in real life it's purple and it matches uh, everything else really well. Um, again, very simple mod that ties the whole theme together and um, sort of separates this from, from just looking at a stock Corsair case. Um, so anyway, um, obviously I went ahead and just used soft tubing in the back of the case here. Um, you know, I, I could have done rigid tubing, but, you know, for the sake of just trying to make this simple and get this build done, I just, uh, I just use soft tubing. You don't see it. Um, I don't really like having soft tubing in a loop because it's going to reduce the amount of time that I'm going to be able to keep this fluid in here. Um, but maybe in the future, if, you know, I, I tend to change things around quite a bit, but Maybe in the future when I do a fluid swap out, maybe I'll run some rigid bends here. But uh, really, you know, I didn't spend a whole lot of time nitpicking back here. Um, there was plenty of space for everything, so I really didn't have to go crazy with cutting, um, you know, custom length cables and everything. I mean, I did, you know, everything I've customized, but not to the extent that I've done in other builds where space was really a constraint. So... Um, I left quite a bit of slack in a lot of this stuff, um, which also <coughs> makes it a lot easier to disconnect and connect. Um, I've actually had to drain this loop four or five times since I finished this build because I've had a couple problems with it. Um, so I've gotten really good at draining and filling this loop up, but uh, fortunately um, it wasn't too bad. Just a single 750 gig SSD. That's really all my son needs to fit his games and stuff. He's not storing huge files. We have a NAS anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. And then I have a 500 watt um, SFX Silverstone power supply. Um, I didn't specifically choose this. I just already had it. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm glad that I did. It works out really well. Um, it, it gave me a little bit more space to work with than I would have normally had with a normal size power supply. Um, I would have been just fine with a standard ATX power supply, but, uh, you know, like I said, I already had this one from a previous build, so I just used it and it works well. Um, and, you know, 
no one's ever going to complain about having a little bit more room to work with here. So um, it is a this is a non PWM. I, I already had this pump, so I just you know used it in this build. But uh, EK Plexi Top um, D5 non PWM version of the pump, and then um, yeah, I think everything else is pretty obvious. So you can sort of see how I've got my runs connected into the front of the case you know the res feeds into this tube here the reason I looped it around like this is if I would have tried to force the issue straight into the pump um, it would have been a really tight bend that would have potentially kinked up on me and it was tough to do so you know I just left a little bit of slack and looped it around so it was a nice comfortable bend on the tubing um, but yeah, then it then it pumps out. Um, then obviously it's got to come back in. So uh, pretty simple. Um, as always, I always put a drain valve on my builds. Um, where this one's at right here works out really well because this panel actually just comes off with a thumb screw, and I just hook up a piece of flex tubing to this here and just drain it right out. It's real simple, so uh, works out really well. So yeah, um, got my fan hub there. It's a uh, Swift Tech, I believe. So aside from that, um, yeah, I think that pretty well sums it up. Um, hope you guys like this one. I'm sorry that the color is not turning out proper on the uh, camera here, um, but I will have some nice pictures floating around. Uh, if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram or uh, any of those other sites, you'll you'll see them. So. Yeah, uh, just feel free to drop me a line. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you have any suggestions, I'm always open, um, looking for ways to improve. Um, but yeah, um, I, I guess for now, that'll do it for this one here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Night.